Web API is all about data. When we send some data in HTTP request from client to the server, then there must be something at the server side that will bind this incoming data to the .NET type. .NET type means the parameters that we are using in action method or the properties that we are using in the controller. The binding of incoming data and the .NET type is possible because of the model binder. Let's understand this concept in detail. Here we are running an ASP.NET Core Web API application and we are sending some data in the request. As you already know that we can send the data in the request in URL. In URL also we can send the data directly in the route just like we send the IDs or we can also pass the data in the query string. Along with the URL we can pass the data in header, body. We can also pass the data by using the form data etc. Now there must be something in this ASP.NET Core application that will identify this incoming data and it will map this data with the models or parameters that we are using in our ASP.NET Core Web API application. If we talk about ASP.NET Core Web API, then we generally bind the data in parameters and the properties. And let's say we are getting some data in the HTTP request. Now in between the data and the parameters and the properties, there is a concept of model binder. This model binder will take the HTTP data as an input and it will find the exact name of the properties or parameters that we are using in ASP.NET Core and it will bind the data. It means the mapping of incoming data to the parameters and properties is possible just because of model binder. The process of binding the HTTP request data to the parameters of application controllers or properties is known as model binding. In ASP.NET Core, there are loads of built-in methods and attributes for the model binder. We can also create our custom model binder to bind the incoming data with parameters. 